night everyone i am dr venas venkatesh rao working as associate professor from the department of chemistry in institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad today i would like to give the topic on the question bank on green chemistry and fuels first of all we discuss about the what are the types of the questions present in the question bank there are three parts part a short answer questions which is is two marks and part b long answer questions which is 10 marks and part c problem solving and critical thinking questions which is 10 marks first we start with the part a questions so part a what is green chemistry so green chemistry is the chemistry which deals with the to reduce or completely eliminate the eliminate the formation of hazardous substances from chemical industries write the importance of green chemistry green chemistry importance is nothing but to give a sustainable environment towards the future generations what is green synthesis give the example for aqua phase method so green synthesis is the method which involves the to uh, eliminate or completely reduce the generation of hazardous substances there are so many types of green synthesis aqua phase method microwave method phase transfer catalyst method ultrasound method and uh, green solvents nothing but ionic solvent method so the example for aqua phase method is nothing but a novengel reactions right about phase transfer catalyst with the example so phase transfer catalyst is nothing but the catalyst which facilitates the migration of the reactants from one phase to another phase best example is the crown ethers what is ultrasound method ultrasound method is nothing but a, the sound waves and the high frequency nearby 20 to 100 kilohertz frequency which involves the chemical reactions especially for the esterification formation of ester so what is microwave method microwave method is nothing but a, the waves are present in the in between the infrared radiation and radio wave frequencies and nearby 1 cm to 1 meter frequency radiation radiations right the applications of green synthesis the applications of the green synthesis is nothing but the esterification formation of ester and novengel reactions and also we see the the reaction between the organic compound and the inorganic compound that means one chloro octane with sodium cyanide define fuel give the characteristics of a good fuel so first of all fuel is nothing but a combustible substance which gives the large amount of heat energy by the combustion and characteristics of the good fuel is nothing but it is having low cost and higher calorific value and it gives a less pollutants but write the significance of moisture and volatile matter in coal so the moisture content always should be low otherwise it affects the calorific value of the fuel at the same time volatile matter also should be low otherwise it affects the flame of the fuel compare solid fuels and liquid fuels solid fuels are the cost less cost liquid fuels are the some more cost effective and solid fuels are the less caloric value liquid fuels are the higher caloric value and the transport of the solid fuels is very very uh, uneasy whereas liquid fuels transport through easily through the pipes how sulfur is determined by ultimate analysis of the coal so initially the sulfur content present in the coal will be are uh, determined by the gravimetric analysis with the help, help of the precipitation method so for the coal we had the copper sulfate uh, solution uh, nothing but uh, our bearing chloride solution what happens the sulfur present in the coal converts into bearing sulfate precipitate so from the weight of the bearing sulfate precipitate we can determine the individual weight of the sulfur why gases fuels are more advantageous than the solid Yes, these fuels are higher calorific value than the solid fuels. Write the significance of the fixed carbon and ash content in coal. So, fixed carbon is always directly proportional to the calorific value. Always the fixed carbon should be higher amount, whereas ash content should affect the calorific value. That's why the ash content should be maintained in a low value. What is CNG? Give the composition of CNG. CNG is nothing but a compressible natural gas. The main components present in CNG are nothing but methane, nest, ethane, propane. butane and hydrocarbons co co2 that means carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide compare liquid fuels and gases fuels liquid fuels are lower caloric value gases fuels are higher caloric value at the same time liquid fuels are transferred to the pipes whereas gases fuels uh, is occupied with a large volume and the lightening of the liquid fuels will be somewhat taken time whereas gases fuels are lightening takes its very very rapidly what is meant by caloric value of fuel mention its units so, caloric value is nothing but the amount of heat released by the fuel by unit mass of the fuel under gross combustion reaction and the units are calorie kilocalorie british thermal unit centigrade heat unit what is lpg give its composition and applications 
LPG means liquefied petroleum gas. The composition of LPG is nothing but propane, butane, isopropane, and isobutane. And these applications are nothing but used as a domestic fuel and in case of the transport purpose also. And in case of the cement industry. Right, the classification of the fuels with the suitable examples. The classification of the fuels mainly takes place with the availability and its physical state. Based on availability, it classified into natural fuels, nothing but primary fuels, and also secondary fuels. So, natural fuels, nothing but the fuels which are obtained from the nature, like coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Whereas, secondary fuels are nothing but the fuels which are obtained from a natural fuels by man. Nothing but from the coal, we obtain coal gas. Yes. From petroleum, we get petrol and diesel. From natural gas, we get CNG and LPG. And the physical state, based on physical state, the fuels are classified into three types solid fuels, liquid fuels, and gaseous fuels. The examples of the solid fuels, nothing but coal, and the liquid fuels, nothing but petrol, and uh, gaseous fuels, nothing but natural gas, LPG, and CNG. Compare grass calorific value and net calorific value of the fuel. Grass calorific value, nothing but always should be a higher value, and net calorific value should be lower value. Compare solid, liquid, and gaseous fuels. By comparing solid, liquid, gaseous fuels from the solid to gaseous fuels, what happens? The calorific value will be increased. And cost also increases from solid to liquid fuels and liquid to gaseous fuels. And the disposal of the waste in case of solid fuels is very, very uh, difficult. Whereas liquid fuels are more easy, gaseous fuels are very, very uh, easy. The disposal of the waste in case. Now, part B questions. So, these are nothing but normal surface and wet is stand down. So, what is green synthesis? So, explain aqueous phase method. So, green synthesis is nothing but a, in order to reduce or completely eliminate the generation of hazardous substances. So, and aqueous phase method is nothing but a non angle reaction. The conversation between the carbonyl compounds with the aqueous compound in the presence of base so, to give the product that is nothing but aqueous phase method by the elimination of carbon dioxide. This is phase transfer catalyst method with the example. So, phase transfer catalyst method is nothing but a, the catalyst is a heterogeneous catalyst which facilitates the migration of the reactants from one phase to another phase and the example is 1 bromo octane reacts with the sodium cyanide to give uh, non-ail nitrate. Uh, explain briefly about microwave method with example. Well, microwave method is nothing but a, the waves which are present in the electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic radiations, nothing but infrared radiation and radio wave frequencies and frequency range is 1 centimeter to 1 meter range. So, these are mainly classified into two types micro assisted with aqueous phase, micro assisted with organic phase, micro and solid free medium. Describe the ultrasound method with the need diagram. So, ultrasound method is nothing but a, the sound waves are used for a higher peak frequencies 20 to 100 kilohertz. In this case, what happens? The micro radiation is irradiated with the reactant molecules and the bubble formation takes place. Finally, the kinetic energy of the bubble will be increases and collapsing takes place. So, finally, it gives the higher amount of the kinetic energy. That kinetic energy will be helpful to, to forward the rate of the reaction. If the improvement of the rate of the reaction, the reaction rate occurs very, very rapidly. Best example is formation of ester, nothing but ester application. What are fuels? Give complete classification of the fuels with the suitable examples. So, fuels is nothing but a combustion substances which gives the heat energy and combustion reaction. And the classification of the fuels can be takes place in the previous questions. Explain approximate analysis of the coal. Moisture, water meter, gas content, and fixed water. Mass content. So, mass content is determined by taking one gram of the fuel sample in a uh, crucible and used in a distillator, maintain temperature 100 to 107 degrees centigrade. After one hour, what happens? The mass content will be evaporated. So, from the final weight and initial weight of the coal, we can determine the percentage of the moisture. So, percentage of the moisture is equal to. Percentage of the moisture is equal to loss in weight of coal due to moisture by total weight of coal into one. Okay, next one. Volatile matter. So, volatile matter is determined by the by taking coal sample in a molten furnace and heated above 700 to 750 degree centigrade. And again, the weight of the coal may be reduced due to evaporation of the volatile matter. So, that means percentage of the volatile matter 
equal to plus in weight of coal due to volatile matter by total weight of coal into and so this is about the volatile matter next we will see percentage of the ash so ash content is determined after the completion of the previous two tests nothing but moisture and volatile matter next percentage of the ash should be equal to after the completion of the two tests again the whole sample is heated to 700 to 880 centigrade finally to get a black residue so that black residue determine the weight of the black residue by total weight of the coal into 100. Okay, next one percentage of the fixed part. It can be determined indirectly. So this uh, this approximate analysis contains totally four contents out of the four contents we can determine the one two three that means 17 percent of the analysis is over so remaining 25 percent analysis is determined indirectly by detecting the the combined contents of monster volatile matter from the cent percent that means fixed carbon is equal to 100 minus percentage of monster percentage of volatile matter plus percentage of the ash we get fixed carbon. Okay. Next one. Seventh question. Explain how percentage of the carbon, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen is estimated by the ultimate analysis of the coal. So, in the ultimate analysis, first of all, the carbon and hydrogen is nothing but the fuel elements. These two are undergoes a uh, combustion reactions, nothing but when carbon reacts with the oxygen to give carbon dioxide and when hydrogen reacts with the oxygen to give water vapor okay so that means h2 plus o2 gives rise to uh, 2 h2 okay so from the uh, combustion products of carbon dioxide and water vapor we can determine the individual weights of the carbon and hydrogen next uh, sulfur sulfur is determined by the addition of bearing chloride solution towards the whole sample to get the uh, bearing sulfate precipitate. From this uh, precipitate, uh, we can determine the individual sulfur. Okay, and uh, final one, nothing but oxygen. So, oxygen is determined indirectly by deducting the, the combined percentage of the carbon, hydrogen, sulfur from the sent percentage. Percentage of carbon and hydrogen plus percentage of the sulfur we get the uh, amount of the oxygen in ultimate analysis. Next one, explain the reckoning of the petroleum by giving its composition, boiling, uh, boiling radius and uses of various fractions obtained in the reckoning. So, first of all, reckoning is nothing but a purification of the petroleum. So, this can be done by various uh, types of the methods and various types of the steps. So, first of all, the reckoning can be takes place so first of all to remove the unwanted impurities nothing but harmful impurities like sodium chloride and magnesium chloride this causes the corrosion in the engine and second one removal of the water by cartels method by electrolysis process also after that we apply the fractional distillation in the fractional distillation we get the various types of the radius so especially refinery gas at 20 degree centigrade petrol 70 degree centigrade and an at 120 degree centigrade kerosene at 180 degree centigrade and a diesel at 260 degree centigrade and the lubricating oil 300 degree centigrade and finally fuel oil at 350 degree centigrade so explain the composition properties and applications of lpg and cng so lpg is nothing but liquid Yes, it contains the propane, butane, isopropane, and precipitate gas, and it is having the higher electric value and used in the domestic purpose. Whereas CNG, CNG is nothing but a compressing natural gas, and it should be obtained by compressing the natural gas uh, less than the one percent of its volume, and it can be uh, used as a higher electric value and less pollutant and leak through to gas. So this is mainly useful for transport purpose, but it should not be uh, useful for your cars. 
and explain the ultimate analysis uh, carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, and uh, oxygen. So, in the previous uh, question, we can determine carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, but nitrogen can be determined by the addition of the ammonia to get uh, ammonium chloride solution, to get ammonium chloride solution, and it can be bactrated with the standard acid solution. So, that when the standard acid solution, we can determine the normal and volume of the solution, then to, uh, from the obtained ammonia. You can determine the individual matrix. What is crude oil? Describe the refining of the petroleum, which various reactions are obtained during the refining and mention uses of the EG reaction. So, crude oil is nothing but the oil which is obtained from the earth crust. And the refining of the petroleum takes place in nearly uh, different steps already we discussed about, and various reactions also discussed. So, the reactions are nothing but refinery gas used in the Aeroplanes in the domestic purpose, the petroleum is usable for a transport purpose at 70 degrees centigrade, naphtha at 120 degrees used for chemicals manufacturing, and next one kerosene 180 degrees used for domestic purpose also, diesel oil 260 degrees centigrade for diesel engines, and at the same time lubricating oil at 300 degrees centigrade used for uh, ships and missionaries, and fuel oils at 350 degrees centigrade, which is also used for the, the marine water vehicles. Distinguish the solid, liquid, and gaseous fuels with its advantages and disadvantages. So, compared to solid and liquid gaseous fuels based on its calorific value. So, from solid to liquid, liquid to gaseous fuels, what happens? Calorific value may be increased. And from solid to liquid gaseous fuels, what happens? Cost effect to fuels. And the hazardous situation, nothing but dangerous situation, will be increased from solid to liquid fuels and liquid to gaseous fuels. Coming to the gas content, nothing but pollution in the ground, solid fuels are less so much of the solid pollution, liquid fuels in between, and gases fuels are very, very less pollutants. Next one, define the terms calorific value, higher calorific value, and lower calorific value, and explain the relation between the SCV and SCV. So, calorific value is nothing but the amount of heat released by the unit mass of the fuel under which the combustion. Higher calorific value is nothing but the, the amount of heat released by the the yeah, unit mass of the fuel undergoes combustion reaction and uh, combustion products are cooled down to room temperature. And the net calorific value or lower calorific value is determined by the, the amount of the heat energy released by unit mass of the fuel undergoes combustion and the combustion products are uh, allowed to escape. And the relation between SCV and LCV is nothing but the LCV is equal to HCV minus 9 into hydrogen by 100 by VT cell. Okay. So, this is the relation between the SCV and the LCV. Uh, differentiate the following SCV and LCV. SCV is always greater than the LCV. CNG and LP. CNG is nothing but compressed natural gas, which is obtained by, uh, by compressing and uh, reducing the volume of natural gas up to 1% of its volume. And LP is, LP is nothing but liquid petroleum gas, which is obtained by at room temperature and very one atmospheric pressure and useful for domestic purposes. Explain the how percentage of moisture water in the distant and fixed carbon by proximate analysis of the coal. So, this answer will be explained in the previous question nothing but proximate analysis. Define the natural fuel and artificial fuel and write the characteristics of the good fuel. So, natural fuel is nothing but the fuel obtained from natural fuel and artificial fuel is obtained from natural fuel by man made reactions. At the same time, the characteristics of good fuel nothing but cost should be low and higher calorific value less pollutant. Explain the significance of the proximate analysis and ultimate analysis. So, in the proximate analysis, you can determine moisture, volatile matter, and ash, and final one fixed. So, the total three contents for moisture, volatile matter, as should be low because they are inversely proportional to calorific value and fixed carbon should be high because it should be directly proportional to calorific value. Okay. Next term ultimate analysis. In ultimate analysis, we can determine uh, 
carbon and hydrogen next one hydrogen uh, next one ash and oxygen so this carbon hydrogen nothing but two elements when these are increases that will have the value increases so this should be high and directly proportional to caloric value and the remaining nitrogen ash and oxygen contains which affects the uh, flame that's why this should be maintained low and these are inversely proportional to caloric value Okay, next explain about composition properties and applications of the compressor nozzle gas. So that means in compressor nozzle gas, mainly the content is nothing but uh, methane gas and uh, ethane, butane, uh, CO and CO2. And the property is nothing but uh, leak proof gas and less economy and it can be used as a uh, transport purpose automobiles and buses. Explain the significance of the analysis of the fuel already we discussed in the previous question. So explain about composition properties and applications of liquid petroleum gas. So in liquid petroleum gas, so there will be methane, isopropane, propane, and isopropane. The property is nothing but high caloric value used for domestic purpose. Next one, part C. Part C is nothing but uh, it is a stem of questions. It is also uh, critical thinking and uh, problem proportion questions. So it is critical thinking and uh, uh, problematic questions. So what is the importance of the green chemistry? So green chemistry is uh, nothing but uh, to get a sustainable environment towards the future generations. So explain the phase transfer catalyst method in some so, based on the catalyst method, it involves the manipulation of the reactant from one phase to another phase. The example is nothing but the formation of non oil nitride. What is meant by green synthesis? Explain one method to eliminate min or minimize the other substances. Green synthesis is the method to reduce the harmful products generation from the pharmaceutical industries. And the best method is nothing but the aqueous method. The aqueous method involves the, the uh, <coughs> The condensation of carbonyl compound with the active methyl compounds to give elimination of CO2. List the various steps in order in the refining of the petroleum. So, refining of the petroleum is also explained in the previous question. And next one, uh, what the temperature, um, at what temperature kerosene, diesel, and gasoline are obtained? How do they differ in their composition? For example, kerosene is obtained at 180 degrees centigrade, and diesel is obtained at 260 degrees centigrade, and gasoline is obtained very, very less than 20 degrees centigrade. And they can differentiate with respect to their fractions in the hydrocarbons. Why a good fuel should process low oxygen and high carbon percentage? So, if it contains the higher oxygen, it affects the flame of the fuel. If high carbon percentage, it affects the, the kilobit value. That's why the carbon percentage is directly proportional to kilobit value will maintain higher carbon percentage. And why is the net caloric value always less than the gas caloric value? So, gas caloric value means the energy is obtained on the combustion process cool down to room temperature. But net caloric value means the combustion process are allowed to escape. That means evaporation takes place. That means amount of the heating value released by the fuel will be gradually decreased. That's why the net caloric value always less than the gas caloric value. So, calculate gas and net caloric value of the fuel sample having the following composition carbon is equal to 8 percent. Hydrogen is equal to six percent, oxygen is equal to two percent, sulfur is equal to three percent, nitrogen is equal to one percent, and ash is equal to three percent. So this problem is determined by using the formula. SCV is equal to one by hundred ADT into C carbon plus thirty four thousand five hundred hydrogen minus oxygen by eight. Plus 2240 into sulfur. Okay, units are calorie per gram. Okay, so for this um, for this problem, seventh problem, we get SCV value should be equal to 8918.95 calorie per gram. Okay. Next to the water net caloric value LCV. NCV formula is equal to uh, GCV. That means HCV and GCV both are should be same. Uh, LCV or NCV also should be same. So that means GCV or HCV minus 9 into hydrogen. 
by 100 into pi by t 7. So the value becomes 8601.97 calorie per gram for the seventh problem. Get the values. Okay. Next. For the eighth problem, a sample of the core contains carbon residue 60%. Hydrogen is 6%, oxygen is 33%, sulfur is 0.5%, nitrogen is 0.2%, and acid is 0.3%. Calculate the HCV and LCV. So, for this problem also, we can determine the both HCV and LCV by using these formulas. The first formula HCV or GCV, and the second formula LCV or NCV. For the HCV or GCV, we got the value. Nearby 8828.025 calorie per gram. For LCV or NCV, we got the value 8458.21 calorie per gram. Okay. For eighth problem, we got GCV 8828.025. LCV or LCV 8458.21 calorie per gram. For ninth problem, calculate the class and net calorie value of the core sample at the following opposition. Carbon is equal to 80%, hydrogen is equal to 7%, oxygen is equal to 3%, sulfur is equal to 3.5%, nitrogen is equal to 2%, and ash is equal to 5%. So, for this problem also, we may use the uh, SO2 formula, LCV or GCV, and LCV or LCV. So we got the values of the GCV is equal to 8828.025 and for NCV nothing but 8458.21 and for the 10th question uh, a sample of the coal contains the following composition carbon is 84 percent, hydrogen 12 percent, oxygen 2 percent, and sulfur is 1 percent. Uh, and the remainder being ash, calculate the last calorific value, not calorific value of the chiro. So, for the carbon is equal to 84 percent by using the formula in the previous slide SCV or GCV and LCV or NCV. So, we got GCV should be equal to. Ten thousand eight sixty three point three five calorie per gram, and NCV is equal to ten thousand two hundred twenty nine point three nine calorie per gram. Okay, so these are the solutions for the part C problems. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.